Hello students, welcome back to our channel Learn From Experts. I am Ayush Agarwal and today we are going to learn about neutralization. This is third part of asset basis and salt chapter of class 7. This is in continuation of previous videos. So if you haven't watched, kindly refer to those videos through i button. So in this chapter, we have discussed about the basics of asset basis and natural indicators. Now we're going to talk about neutralization. Before coming to our topic, let us check what you have learned from the previous videos. What is natural indicators? Very easy, right? So the answer is indicators determines whether a solution is acidic or basic. All right, moving to the next question. How assets are identified through litmus paper? Have you answered? Asset turns blue litmus paper into red. And how base is identified? Just opposite to assets, right? Base turn red litmus paper blue. All right. So till now we have learned about assets and bases separately. But what will happen if we mix assets and bases into each other? Have you ever think about it? What happens when an asset is mixed with a base? A very interesting question. So does our today's topic that is neutralization and its application. So in today's lecture, we will learn about what is neutralization and we will see how we use neutralization in our daily life. As you can see here, when acid and base is mixed into a tube, then salt and water is released. So we can say that acid plus base gives salt and water. All right. So to understand it in a better way, let us do an experiment. Through this experiment, we will find how acids and bases actually neutralizing each other's effect. So are you ready? All right. So here is the experiment. We need hydrochloric acid, phenolphthalein solution and a basic solution. So in first step, we will take dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube. As you can see here, then in the next step, we will add two, three drops of phenolphthalein solution. And then we will shake the test tube gently. Do you observe any change in the color of the acid in the last step? No, it is colorless. There is no change in the color. All right. So note this outcome moving forward. We will continue our experiment. Now what will we do? We will add sodium hydroxide solution. That is a basic solution into a given test tube. And then we will stir the tube gently. So is there any change in the color of the solution in the last step? Yes, of course. It is now light pink color when we added basic solution into a acidic and phenolphthalein solution. Right. So note this outcome. Now what we will do? We will again add HCl in it and then stir the tube gently. Now what color is appearing in the last step? There is no color. It is again colorless. So what we have discussed during this experiment, then when we add acidic solution into a phenolphthalein solution, no color appears. But when we add basic solution into acidic and phenolphthalein solution, light pink color appears. And while again adding HCl acid into a test tube, the color again disappears. So can you guess why is it so happening? Why pink color is disappearing and again appearing? So the answer is neutralization process. In neutralization process, when an acidic solution is mixed with a basic solution, both the solutions neutralize the effect of each other. A very Classic example is given here HCl plus NaOH. HCl is acid and NaOH is base. When we add hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, the products we will get is NaCl, sodium chloride, that is salt plus water, H2O. Is it all clear to you? Any doubts? Very good. So neutralization can be defined as follows. The reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization. All right. And the important point is salt and water are produced in this process with the evolution of heat. All right. And this one is the most important equation of neutralization topic. Acid plus base gives salt and water. For example, the formation of NaCl salt. Is there any doubt you can ask in the comment section. So we have discussed much about neutralization. Let me ask you a question. Tell me what happens when an acid is added to a base. Very good. Now you know the answer. The answer is third one. They neutralize the effect of each other. Okay, moving forward. Now next question. What is evolved during neutralization process? Salt and water, acid and base or just salt? Right. So the correct answer is first one. During this process, salt and water is produced and heat is evolved. All right. Now you know what is neutralization process. Now let us check how we use neutralization in our daily life. The application of neutralization. We are all following the rules of science in our daily life without actually knowing it. Do you know how? Let us check it. Tell me what happens when an excessive intake of spicy food is taken. We know that spicy food causes acidity in our stomach. That's why we will avoid spicy food products, right? 
Do you know which acid does our stomach release? It is hydrochloric acid. When we excessively intake the spicy food, so our stomach releases excess of HCl acid, which in result causes acidity. So in order to overcome what your mother gives to you for your relief, we use Eno or syrup. As the Eno ad suggests that calm shuru sirf 6 second mein. What is the reason behind your relief? Can you guess the answer? In order to combat acid, we need base. Right? Acid and base neutralize the effect of each other. So when acidity increases in our stomach, we will take bases to neutralize the effect of acid. Right? So to relieve indigestion, we take an antacids. Bases are also called antacids such as milk of magnesia which contains magnesium hydroxide that is base. Right? It neutralizes the effect of excessive acid. So it is suggested that use green vegetable foods in your diet because it contains alkaline which is good for your health and also reduces the chance of acidity. So next time when you have acidity, you know what to do. Let us check another application of neutralization. Tell me how do you feel when ant bites you? Have you ever came through this situation? Because when an ant bites, it injects formic acid. As we have discussed in the previous video, when mosquito bites you, it is actually releasing acid in your body. And the name of such acid is formic acid. Then how can you neutralize the effect of acid? Through base, right? We will rub baking soda on the affected part to neutralize the effect of ant bite. This is actually the power of science. It not only educates you, but also helps you how to combat problems in life. All right, let us discuss one more application of neutralization. That is soil treatment. Do you know excessive use of chemical fertilizers makes the soil acidic? And in this condition, plants do not grow well when the soil is either too acidic or too basic. Therefore, we add quick lime which is a base if soil is acidic and organic matter if soil is basic as quick lime neutralize the effect of acid and organic matter neutralize the effect of base have you understood right very good last and not the least application of neutralization is factory waste as we know that the waste of many factories contain acids if they are allowed to flow into the water bodies these acids will kill fish and other organisms right therefore the factory waste are neutralized by adding basic substances in order to neutralize the effect of acids all right so we have discussed about the applications of neutralization process let me check what you have learned match the following can you give the correct answer yes very easy the answer is Formic acid is released through ant bite and milk of magnesia is taken during indigestion. Have you given the correct answer? All right. So in today's video, we have discussed what is neutralization? What is the application of neutralization? So let us sum up today's video by asking you very simple questions. Tell me what is neutralization? We know that neutralization is a reaction between an acid and a base, right? During this process, salt and water is produced with the evolution of heat. Have you remembered? All right, moving forward. Write equation of process of neutralization. Come on, write your answer in the comment section first. Have you written? All right, let us check the answer. So the equation is acid plus base gives salt plus water and heat is evolved. Okay, moving on. How indigestion and ant bite be cured? Very easy. Indigestion can be cured by taking antacids such as milk of magnesia and also by including alkaline prone diet in your meal plan. And how ant bite can be cured? By rubbing baking soda that is base on the affected part. So this is all about today's topic. And through this video, we will sum up this chapter of acid bases and salts. Let me know if you need short video on complete chapter. Till then, you can self-evaluate at your home by answering these three questions in one line. Thank you for watching. I am Ayush Agrawal, signing off. Thank you.